So today, even as we look into part two of our message today, we are going to be focusing on this one question. Some, a question that I have heard very many people ask me as they come in into a counseling room. How do I forgive? We may have asked ourselves this question when we know that we are called to forgive. We find it hard because there's a confusion in what is the process of it. Sometimes we find that uh, we are ignorant or we are clueless about how to forgive. We are, we are so uh, filled sometimes with, with bitterness and anger and resentment that we do not know. We, we find ourselves not knowing what is the right way to forgive. Even as we explore that, we find that the Apostle Paul shows us a model of forgiveness. And he gives that to us in Ephesians 4.32. He says, Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Now this model highlights two things. We are to forgive, one, because God forgave us. And two, we are to forgive as or like or in the same manner as God in Christ forgave us. So today I have six broad points that I would bring out to show you how God in Christ forgave us. And we use that as an application as we extend our forgiveness to our brothers. So the first point, God in Christ forgave us by taking the painful consequences of our sin. Now when Jesus died on the cross, he took responsibility for my sin. He took responsibility for your sin. He took responsibility by taking our curse. Galatians 3.13 says, He became a curse for us. So instead of us, God placed the curse on him so that we may obtain a blessing. The second thing that we see that God in Christ forgave us is by entrusting the offense into the hands of God. We see the response that Jesus has for all this offense that he, that he, was, he, he went through. He says it in Luke 23 verse 24, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. So what are we called to do? We are called to forgive as Jesus forgave by extending uh, uh, this mercy, by calmly committing our cause to God. The third way that we see God and Christ forgave us is by not holding us accountable for our sins. Jesus on the cross canceled our debt. He made us not liable for our sins. He did not want us to pay. He didn't call us to pay it back. He nailed it all on the cross. So we are also called to forget and to forgive. Yes, it may, we may recall it, but we make a choice not to dwell in it. Fourth point is that God in Christ forgave us by showing his love and mercy. The nature of true forgiveness is mercy. God's mercy is the motivation to show mercy to others. So when we are bitter and angry towards others, we need to see, we need to ask God to show us his love and mercy. And so by that, we can extend that mercy and release that bitterness and anger we feel. The fifth way how God in Christ forgave us is by doing good rather than evil. Jesus showed undiscriminating love to all his people and he taught his disciples to do that and he, is, uh, he also uh, tells us how we must reflect his character by being, by showing that same love towards our friends and also towards our enemies. 
The last part is how God in Christ forgave us by restoring the relationship that sin destroyed. So when God forgave us, he not only forgave us, but he restored our relationship with him. He built back, he reconciled us back to him. He built our fellowship back to him. So our forgiveness in Christ, forgiveness, the forgiveness that we received in Christ not only restored us, but it brought us back to our relationship with him. Always forgive while reconciling to the best degree that is possible.